intuitive solution that you might think of is object detection. So what is object detection? Object detection will detect a bounding box and surround the objects like this. And you'll see already that there is some problem with object detection. Unless the objects are perfectly uh, parallel to the camera, then uh, like for example, the scissors here, we can uh, with the object detection and the bounding box, we can accurately get these two sizes, but not with the phone. You see the phone is a bit tilted so like the, uh, the size that we would get with object detection are not correct. So we have both the height and the width, which are longer because the object is tilted. So in this case, we need another thing, which is having oriented bounding boxes, which is something like this. So we'll be to get the bounding box of the objects, but oriented. So with the rotation, how can we do this? There is some algorithms that already can detect oriented bounding box. But the most common is object segmentation. So we can get the exact segmentation of all the objects. The exact segmentation means detect the objects, but also exactly the accuracy have a mask, a polygon surrounding the object. So once we get the segmentation with OpenCV, we can extract the oriented bounding box. So I'm now implementing in this code object segmentation. We'll do this for now some common objects. So we have pre-trained models that by default they will detect 80 different objects. So we can detect the phone, we can detect scissors, person and so on. But of course you can segment any object you want. On the academy I explain all the steps how you can create your model to segment any object, especially if you want to uh, segment and detect the, the size of custom objects in any environment. Uh, you see now we have the segmentation in real time. So the project, the software is now detecting the scissors and the cell phone. Also the person somewhere I put the hand is detect the hand and we have the exact polygon surrounding the object. 